Hi everyone. In series of learning basic computer science, in this tutorial you will learn about basic concepts of normal system. So let's have a look at it. First of all, let's uh, discuss about the objectives that we are will be learning in this tutorial. First objective is decimal number system. Second, binary number system. Third, octal number system. Fourth, hexadecimal number system. And five, conversion from one system into the other. Six, binary coded decimal. It can also be called as BCD. Similarly, extended binary coded decimal interchange code. It, it can also be called as EBCDIC. Similarly, we will study about the or we will have the basic concepts of bits, nibbles, bytes, and words. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the number system. Let's introduce number system. So number system can be defined as the system of naming or representing numbers as the decimal or the binary system. So this means we can represent the numbers with its base. Like in a binary number system, we can represent binary number by giving its base as 2. Similarly, for decimal, we can represent it by giving its base 10 and for octal 8 and for hexadecimal, we can represent its number by giving base 16. And it is also called numeral system. This is all about the basic concepts of number system. Now let's see the types of number system. So at first we have decimal number system and decimal number system consists of 10 digits that is it uh, consists number from 0 to 9 since the total number of numbers of digits are 10 from 0 to 9 its base becomes 10 its number of total number of digit is 10 so its base becomes 10 you must noti notice it S similarly it, this decimal number system can be converted into binary octal and hexadecimal number system so about the conversion we will discuss later but now let's see the examples of decimal number system 2 4 3 and its base is 10 this means this base 10 represents this 2 4 3 the combination of 2 4 3 is a decimal number similarly the combination of digits 2 5 9 which forms a number 259 and has got base 10 so this also represents that it's a decimal number Okay, this is all about the basic concepts of decimal number system. Now let's have a look at binary number system. So binary number system uh, consists of two digits that is 0 and 1. So the base becomes 2. As decimal number system, it can also be converted to decimal, octal, and hexadecimal for this we have to follow certain procedures but now let's see the examples of binary number system 1001100 and it has got base 2 the, the base of binary number system is 2 and it has got base 2 so the combination of these numbers is called binary number and here we are using the digits just 0 and 1 that also represents its binary numbers binary number similarly here is also a base 2 and the number is found by the combination of digits that is 0 and 1 only so it is also called 
binary number. This is all about binary number system. Now let's see octal number system. Octal number system consists of eight digits that is from 0 to 7. From 0 to 7 we have eight digits so its base becomes 8. As uh, octo as uh, binary binary number system decimal number system, we can also convert this octal number system to binary decimal and hexadecimal number system. So here we have five, six, seven, eight, and base eight. In this case, you cannot represent this five thousand six hundred seventy eight as octal number system because here we have uh, octal number consists of only numbers from or only digits from 0 to 7 but in this case in this case we have 8 so so we cannot so we can represent this number as octal number just by the base 8 but if you see this example 764 it is found by the combination of three digits where here are none of the digits above 7 so this number can be called as octal number system and we have also got its base as 8 so this is the basic concepts of octal number system. Now let's go through hexadecimal number system. So hexadecimal number system is quite unique among the other number system and it consists of 10 digits and 6 alphabets and this, this number system has base 16 and 10 digits it uh, it consists of 0 to 9 which becomes 10 digits and from a to f alphabets which totals 6 alphabets so therefore it has base 16 and similarly it can be converted into binary decimal and octal and vice versa and if you see the example here is 1 to a b which are the numbers and these are the alphabets so it is found by the combination of digits and alphabets and it has got base 16 therefore it is hexadecimal number or this represents hexadecimal number similarly here we have 3 2 4 and f this also consists of digits and alphabets and it has got base 16 therefore it also represents hexadecimal number system so we got the basic concepts of number system its types now we'll go through the conversion of number system from one form to another for that you have to remember the basis of different types of number system which is uh, decimal number system its base is 10 binary its base is 2 octal its base is 8 hexadecimal its base is 16 so these are the things that you have to understand or you have to remember during the conversion of number system from one system to another so at first let's look at uh, binary how to convert binary to decimal so this is quite simple and just uh, you have to multiply the each given binary digits by 2 and you have to uh, do the algebraic sum of all those but one thing you have to remember is you have to give the power to each and every digits 
or you have to give the power in two that is you have to start from zero or from last for last digit you give the power zero and for the second last give one and two three four and five in this way you can give the powers to the digits and multiply with its with the given binary number and you can add it and you can finally get the decimal number so this is how you can convert binary to decimal and let's see about the about how to convert decimal to binary it is uh, just opposite to that of binary to decimal conversion of binary to decimal here we multiplied by 2 in each and every binary digits but here we divide the given decimal number the given decimal number by 2 in each and every step till the remainder comes till the remainder comes 1 or 0 at last so while writing the converted binary numbers we write it from last that is here we have written 1 first and then 0 0 1 0 1 so this is how we write the obtained remainder which will be the converted binary number of the given decimal number so this is how you convert decimal to binary and binary to decimal so let's look at the conversion of binary to octal during the conversion of binary to octal the main thing you have to keep in mind is you have to group the given binary numbers into three digits you have to do the binary grouping of three digits but you have to group it start grouping the numbers uh, of three digits from the last and if the three digit is not sufficient at the last position you add the zero zero in front since it does not affect the values of equivalent octal numbers after you finish the grouping work then you should keep the equivalent octal number therefore 105 base 8 will be the equivalent value of the given binary number similarly while we convert octal to binary number you have to write the octal number first then you have to write the equivalent binary number so here you have to make you have to write every digits uh, every numbers of three digits and in three in octal numbers you will have just the a group of three digits so while writing answer you don't have to write the zero since uh, there is a zero in front does not create any effect in your answer so let's see the binary conversion of binary to hexadecimal so before converting binary to hexadecimal or hexadecimal to binary you have to know these tables here is given hexadecimal number and alphabets and its equivalent binary numbers and in, uh, in terms of octal number there was the group of three digits but here in terms of hexadecimal you will have the group of 
four digits that starts from zero and ends at f where f will be in the position of 15 you will be in the position of 14 d 13 c 12 b 11 and a 10 so you can write this hexadecimal number to binary equivalent and so we, let's look at the example here is given binary number one zero 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 one zero one in this case we first group the binary numbers into four digits or we made the different groups of four digits of the given binary numbers and we started grouping from last last of the given binary number that is 0 1 0 1 and we placed it at the last itself 0 1 0 1 and in second grouping it lacks one digits so we added one zero in front since the front zero does not matters the equivalent hexadecimal number similarly we can now let's see the conversion of hexadecimal number to binary so here is the given hexadecimal number 45 to the base 16 and it is to be converted into binary number so the hexadecimal number we write first 4 5 then we can write the equivalent binary numbers that is 0 1 0 0 and 0 1 0 0 from the table so here the value of 4 is 0 1 0 0 and the value of 5 is 0 1 0 1 and similarly you can convert other hexadecimal to binary and the binary numbers to hexadecimal number here you have to know the the conversion of this table is very much important and you have to learn it and the technique behind this table is just you add the you add a one digit one to each and every digits that comes after it we can see here first of all zero its value is uh, fourth zero one two three four four zero and the value of one is zero 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 one and this comes when we add one to these four zeros similarly when we add one to this number then it becomes 10 since 1 plus 1 in binary system is 1 0 similarly when we add 1 2 0 0 1 0 then it becomes 1 1 since 1 0 plus 1 becomes 1 1 in binary system similarly when we add 1 to 0 0 1 1 it becomes 1 0 0 in terms of binary number in terms of binary addition similarly it goes on till year and the main concept of Checking whether the gear, whether the written binary number is equivalent to hexadecimal in this table is you must have one 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 four one at the position of F while writing this table. So this if the four one comes at the last or the value of F comes for one 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 then that proves that your table is correct
otherwise you have to redo it so now let's look at the conversion of decimal to octa okay here is a given decimal number one two two zero and it is decimal number since its base is 10 and we have to convert it into octal which is determined by the base 8 here is base 8 so we have to understand we have to convert the given decimal number to octal so this must be kept in mind that you must see the base first before the conversion of any number system to any number system so here is decimal numbers decimal number and you have to convert it into octal so in this case you have to divide the given decimal number by octal by the base of octal and here is the reminder that you have to write then when we divide 1120 by 8 then it it becomes uh, the remainder becomes 4 similarly here in this case the remainder becomes 0 and here in this case the remainder becomes 3 and at last 2 remains so all these 8 are divided and all these are the remainders so answer will be the remainders so while writing answer we write it from the down to up that is two three zero four is the answer similarly while conversion of octal to decimal first of all we must see uh, the base whether it is 2 or 8 or 10 or 16 so here is base 8 so we must convert this octal number to decimal so during the conversion it's similar to binary to decimal we write the we multiply the given numbers uh, or the given digits by 8 and we give its power the power must start from 0 that is from the last digit last 8 of the last digits that is 0 1 2 3 and you uh, you must do the algebraic you must solve this algebraic expression and you can add it finally you will get the converted form of this octal number that is 1 2 to 0 which is as same as here which proves this is correct okay now let's see the conversion of decimal to hexadecimal it is also similar to the previous that okay first of all let's see the base its base is 10 and its base is 16 so this is decimal number and we have to get the hexadecimal number of this decimal number so for this we have to divide it by divide the given decimal number by 16 and in order to get the uh, hexadecimal numbers and similarly hexadecimal to decimal we have to multiply by the base of hexadecimal and give the powers from the last and we do the algebra we solve the, this algebraic expression and get the final answer similarly while converting hexadecimal to octal we have to follow some extra steps that is first of all let's see the example here is given hexadecimal number and here is octal number so at first we have to convert this decimal number to binary and 
the obtained binary numbers we group them into three from starting from the last then we keep the equivalent octal numbers then finally we can get the answer if we see here first of all we have written hexadecimal number that is 4 6 and 0 then we wrote the equivalent binary digit of 4 that is 0 1 0 0 similarly the equivalent binary digit of 6 is 0 1 1 0 and 0 is 0 0 0 0 and here we get the binary numbers of the given decimal number then after that in second step we group these binary numbers uh, of we group these binary numbers into three different groups that is we we start from the last and these la three zeros of the last should be written here and one zero zero is written here and zero zero one is written here and zero one is one zero is written here then we wrote the equivalent octal number of these three digits of this individual three binary digits which is two one four zero which is equal to the octal number of the the octal number of the given decimal number thank you for watching